Well, hello. Welcome to Salt Hill and Monkstown on the south side of Dublin. And uh, I'm walking towards Black Rock, uh, which is closer to Dublin's city, city centre than Monkstown. So, um, it's a lovely Saturday here. Just a perfect temperature. It's 19 degrees Celsius. So it's, it's bearable for the heat, you know, so um, yeah, and out there is Dublin Bay is just out here on the right. Beautiful along here. That bites me. Right now it's not beautiful flowers. Isn't that just gorgeous? They're all big houses out here in Monkstown. Nice little park here uh, in Monkstown here. Um, and you can just see out here onto Dunleary and those lovely sailing boats, lovely coloured sails on the sailing boats just out here. And look at a bee. A bee? So even in the city you have beautiful nature, don't you? The bee. I think that's just cool. So we'll just go down here to check this Martello Tower here. Seems to be a big um, swimming spot here. See loads of people uh, swimming in the sea here. So this is called Sea Point Beach on the south side of Dublin City. What a great place to relax here. I mean, Dublin Bay out here, the sailing boats just off Dunleary, Holt Head in the distance there, um, a ferry coming in, into Dublin Port over here. Um, yeah, I can see how, how people come here to chill in the hot weather and, and uh, relax like, so. Just lovely, lovely, lovely houses along here too. Lovely, very, very pretty. Now, isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Beautiful, look at the flowers, the roses. Wow, gorgeous. I just love pretty houses and people who have imagination when it comes to their gardens. With beautiful displays of flowers, beautiful designs in their, in their front gardens. And um, it just makes you want to stop and look. Well, it does for me anyway. Um, and like, what I love about these houses is all the different designs like the sign the designs around i'll show you one just right here now the designs around like look see see the window doesn't that it just stands out lovely mold around the window look at the front door look at the design of the front door around the front door look at the steps going up to the front door look at the flowers it's just lovely you see what i mean like that's you'll stop to, to look at that well I, well i would anyway and then you'll come to an odd house where they're kind of making a half effort. They're trying to do something to the garden. 
and it makes me laugh because <laughs> it obviously shows that you haven't really got an interest in it in flowers or whatever so it's kind of you can just tell by looking at it it's they're not really flower type people you know but um when you do pass the houses with the flowers in the garden wow it's just as i keep saying picture postcard oh, i'm enjoying this walk now i'm still heading towards black rock um village i don't know how far i've got to go but anyway I don't mind because, yeah, I don't mind at all because uh, I'm in no hurry. It's a little kind of a lame here leading on to the main street here. So as you can see, they put in a cycle, a cycle pathway, which is a great idea, I think. Um, I don't know how far it goes back south here. It definitely goes back as far as Dunleary because I, I was in Dunleary last Saturday and um, the cycle path passes by there and I don't know how far it goes back towards the city centre. Maybe it goes the whole way to the city centre and beyond the city centre out on the north side of the city along the coast there as well. So it's a great idea um, to see, peop see, see people out cycling. Good for the health, um, good for the mind, and good for the body, of course. A great thing, I think, back out cycling on bicycles. Like, here's a guy cycling here now, look. You know, you don't have to go fast. You can just go nice and slow at your own pace and enjoy the cycle. Right, so I'm now officially in Black Rock, walking into Black Rock, if you want to call it a village, or, you know, it's definitely, it's a suburb of Dublin, and again, it's an affluent area of Dublin, um, middle class, you know, it has Black Rock College, that's um, an awful lot of, if you want to call them famous people, went to school, lots of the international, Irish international rugby players went to that, uh, college, Bob Geldof of the Boomtown Rats, and a lot of writers. Um, yeah, so that's really it, my friends. Jack O'Rourke's pub is doing a good trade over there. I worked up here in Black Rock for about a year, about 20 years ago, right, for some contractors, right? Uh, they had some contract work in Black Rock College, right? And I remember somewhere, I don't know where in the village here, there was a, a dental surgery, right? And um, there was a dental surgery, it was in a terrace of houses, two-storey houses, right? And at the back of the house, there was a flat, a two-storey flat roof um, building, right? Downstairs was a dental surgery. Upstairs was a kitchen. And it was a flat roof kitchen roof on it. And it was leaking. And I was sent up to um, fix it, right? And... Um, oh, yeah, but it's just like... Uh 
at that time you had to put up it was a stuff called torch on felt big rolls of felt and you had to have a torch with a cylinder of gas with a flame on it that burns the that burns the, the tar on the on the rolls of felt that burns the tar on the rolls of felt right and um lucky enough I thought of bringing up water on the roof and I found a watering can <clears throat> and um, we'll just park here for a second in Black Rock yeah so I found a watering can and I filled it full of water boiled it up onto the roof with me and what a great call that was because I was almost finished the torch on felt and I was joining in underneath the main apex roof of the house which is which is a terrace house so there's houses attached to this right and when I pushed the tiles up and started felting up underneath it uh, there was leaves underneath the tiles and they went on fire and it, it, and and it, it, it was taken off real quick it was real crisp real crisp and dry and um, I just ran for the ran for the watering can sprayed it over the um, the fire and pulled it out and that man to this day does not know how close his whole place was to being in flames and um, that, that was in the village that I just came through there, Black Rock Village. I don't know where about now, because I said to you it's 20 years ago. But uh, that's just a little story. My story about my time up here in Black Rock. This is another nice little park here in Black Rock. Yep. I have this flower at home, it's lovely. I think it's a... Uh, Peniston or something like that. P-E-N. It begins with a P-E-N anyway. Peniston or something. Lovely. Oh, lovely and cool here in the shade, I have to say. Just lovely. That's a, this is a nice little park now. Nice mature trees there. Wow. Look at those roses, aren't they lovely? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Wow. A group of people just sitting there in the shade under the tree having a picnic and having a lovely chat among themselves. Pretty cool. Yeah, nice trees, I have to say. That's a nice little pond along there. Very nice. Nice walk along here. What's this now? Irish Republic, okay. There's a nice sculpture, I like that. Oh, wow. Two people, obviously. Gymnasts, I think, of some kind, or dancers, maybe. Simple design, but I, I would never have thought of that. And it's it's very good. Here is okay the provisional government. So this was the 1960 the proclamation from 1916 of the Irish Republic to the people of Ireland, and all these men here all died that signed it. They were all actually executed in Kilmadam Jail by a firing squad. So you had Thomas J. Clark. He was the main kind of instigator of the whole thing. Sean McDermott, Patrick Pierce, the poet, James Connolly, um, Thomas McDonough, Eamon Kant, and Joseph Plunkett. But there was more people um, executed besides just them, them people there. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. I know it's another um, well-to-do area out here on Black Rock, but um, and there's nice like modern buildings and old buildings and stuff, right? But uh, um, there just doesn't seem to be as much for me to talk about here um, in comparison to Dunleary and Dawkey. But um, I'll just keep walking along here now. Just just over here is. Uh, Black Rock Clinic, which is a basically a private hospital, really. So if you have plenty of money, um, you'll get the best of care across the road here in Black Rock Clinic. It's a pretty famous um, clinic, all right, across the road here. Busy road. Yeah, so that's it in there. Across the road there, Black Rock Clinic. Yeah, so that's Black Rock Clinic in there. And right beside Black Rock Clinic is Black Rock College. So this is um, Black Rock College, right? Um, it's a big boarding school here, right? It would be an exclusive school, really. You have to pay to go to school here, right? Um, I actually worked up here for about a year with some contractors, right? Um, a lot of famous people went to school here, Irish people. Um, it's big into rugby up here. So an awful lot of ex-Irish rugby players and probably, not too sure, but it could be present-day Irish rugby players went to school here, right? Brian O'Driscoll, for instance, right, went to school here. Um, you had famous writers went to school here. Um, artists like, you know, um, if you ever heard of Robert Ballack, right? He's actually a, a fantastic painter, I think, anyway. He went to school here. Um, and I think the most famous of them all would be um, Bob Geldof of the Boomtown Rats. Um, he went to school here, but um, he didn't talk, he didn't say good things about here, right? So um, he would have been a rebel, of course, and no wonder he turned into a rock star. And as you all know, he was the guy who organized Live Aid in 1985. And also, I think, Eamon de Valera, I don't know whether he went to school here or he taught here or he um, knew somebody, um, some of the top people here or something, but he has an association with Black Rock College. And as I said, just over there, beside Black Rock College, is the is, uh, Black Rock Clinic. It's really a private hospital. So again, if you have plenty of money, you can get seen to quicker there than you would in a public hospital, right? Uh, World-renowned hospital, actually, Black Rock Clinic. So this is another uh, affluent part of Dublin City on the south side, middle class, upper class. Um, anyway, I hate actually using that phraseology, middle class, upper class. I hate um, categorizing people into their um, you know, uh, uh, the socio-economic backgrounds, I hate that, you know what I mean? I just, I, 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 I've, no, I've no time for it at all. I find it patronising and condescending. But anyway, um, this is Black Rock College. That's really all now I can do in this video. Um, not really, wasn't much to say here, wasn't much to show you. Just on that walk from, uh, was a Salt Hill, Monkstown, over to Black Rock College. So um, that's it, my friends. Hope you all keep safe. Uh, and keep well and I'll catch us all in the next video as it says I have no idea what where it's going to be or what it's going to be going to be, going to be about but I'll see you in the next one okay take care have a good day bye